talk to her first, but let's begin with Deshaun Brown. She's been out and about tonight in Charlotte just hours after that mandate took effect in North Carolina. Deshaun. And Scott, we've really seen both extremes tonight. A lot of people wearing masks or none at all. Now I'll show you what we're seeing outside of the gin mill. I've noticed somewhat of a pattern here. You can see some people have masks on in line, but others have put them on at the door. It's the first night of this version of yet another new normal. It's different. You got to get used to it. The sign outside South End's the gin mill says it all. Mask now mandatory. Uh, so I figured I'd kind of just jump to the opportunity and, uh, you know, us being in between kind of a popular area here in South End. Nick Quigley set up shop almost immediately, complete with mask, sanitizers, hoping to cash in. So one sale so far. One sale so far. We'll see how it goes for the rest of the evening. We'll probably be here till about 8 30, 9 o'clock tonight. Depending on how it goes, I might be back out here tomorrow. But we found no two scenes across Charlotte were quite the same. In Plaza Midwood, most of the people we saw were masked up. Or what about uptown near the French Quarter? Not so much. This couple spent their first night out with the new rules and quickly noticed more boundaries. It's like you have to have the mask on if you're standing up or not at a table, but if you're at the table, you can have it off. This woman also works in the service industry, but hasn't come face to face with the new rules and her normal customers, at least not yet. No, I haven't. I haven't had to tell anyone, like, put on a mask. Are you comfortable doing that? I would be, just because it's our bar, you know, you come into the bar if you want to have a drink, then respect the rules. Off camera, two different shops shared different worries. One feared business was down from customers who just didn't want to wear masks. The other worried enforcing the rules could prove costly, too, when recouping losses has already been tough. The county health director said the new mandate could be the difference between moving forward and more restrictions. I certainly hope not. Hopefully people will do what we are asking of them and uh, will help us manage this so that we can all stay out and about in the way we want to be. You know, Deshaun, businesses have had to change a lot in the past couple of months, how they operate, the hours they're open, how many people can come in. This is kind of like just one more adjustment for them. So how have they been responding to this? It really is, Scott, and a lot of owners told me they're really doing the best they can. But the State Retail Association also put out a statement on this, really asking customers to help them and just follow the rules, saying that a lot of these businesses cannot afford to pay a penalty right now. Scott? Yeah, really, times are tight. Thanks, Deshaun.